Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial of the Ordinary Gift Limited. In this video, I'm going to show you how I print my wedding invitation using the Adobe InDesign. You know, most of the times, InDesign is usually used for, I mean, designing documents um, such as um, um, booklets, you know, um, uh, posters, you know, for their poster, for um, posters. But here, um, sometimes, uh, though I sometimes use uh, Adobe Illustrator, but today, I decided to try something different. I mean, to design my wedding invitation for a client using the InDesign and also printing it using InDesign. So, first of all, we need to start by going to File. We go to Print. So, um, you know, here on the printer, I mean, Print Preset um, should be custom because we're going to decide how, how I don't want this to be printed. And in the printer, we have a, I mean, this is my printer, this is the actual printer I should want to use. This is a Xerox Fizzer printer, so I've chosen that. We have other printers, so in your own case, you can feel free to choose whatever printer you use. So, I've chosen this. Now, um, another part we need to go to is Horizon here, because we only want, we want to print this as a one-sided um, invitation card. I mean, Slash invitation card, so we can from all the other pages we need to choose a current page. This is an A5 size invitation card, and this is just a page one. Okay, so that's why I decided to um, click on this current page and to select this current page. Okay, and I'm going to run the um, sequence. I mean, you need, you need to leave all this in the camera. Um, print layer the same thing, which is a visible. Uh, print our layers, okay? Um, so the only thing we need to do is to put the photo up here. Of course, um, um, we already have this in portrait, so we're going to be doing the location of the, of the printing to um, the portrait, so we're going to do what I did already insert, and um, I mean, the, the same way, the same way I have it here. Um, so another one is, we uh, have to say, to the you know, on the upscale, we have other options to see with we want to be printing out our exact width, which is the 100% width, and the height also 100% height. And the um, page position, I tend to leave this um, up on it. Okay? So if you come to Mac and Blaze, this is already the main, um, the main part of this uh, program. Uh, I mean. Why I actually want to do this is in the time. Is because if you choose the reference of the list in a slot, if you choose the use document in step, then you just print this because our intention is to ensure that we get this inner design thing. This is our margin, this is our margin, and that's our first area, okay? And this is the bleed. So, what we have to do in order to get this design complete without some of some part of these uh, people in the shortcut to read our printing, we need to make sure that you get what they say. I mean, you object this use document blue step. Do not check it because if you check it, it's going to apply this, the left hand side of it now. It has applied this. So, have you seen that some of some part of this uh, document is going to be off, which is not what we want there. I mean, it has added them. Um, one one meter to every side of the document. So we don't want that. We need to check that. And the same so this shows that um, everything is going to be printed out. Okay? And then um, color management, have to use color management from here. You can sure that you allow your own design to determine the best color for this uh, printer. I mean for this printer. Okay? And another thing you have to do to set up is actually that for the set up and you get a here, you will have your own and uh, this is the size, the text is the size, size. Uh, so I decided to print it with an extra preview aspect. And um, uh, here, in this, um, this, this option, you can see that I left it apart because I don't want it to be black and white. If you want it to be black and white, you can have this and um, change it to on, but it's going to be black and white. So I don't want it black and white. So you need to make sure that your black and white is off. Now, this is another part. I'm free to use the shader eye, which is the standard. And 
my my future face for a very long, so I didn't understand that. And um, and we also discussed this in the world part of the tree. We want to so the first colossal first. I have decided that because it's a small people, it can be small impact people as well as come out um, from the center tree rather than going through all this way at me. Um, just to come out from here. So that's why I chose the center tree. And that's it. So you keep your open, keep your face, and keep your face. And that's it. So let's see how it's going to work. So in order to print the second page, this is the back page, I mean the, the back of the of the wedding invitation. As you can see, majority of this page is blank. Um, in order to be able to print this using a InDesign, what we have to do is we come to file, we go again to print. But in this case, um, because uh, the other part, when we print on the other part, because in a blank page, um, this page, um, printer is seeing it as a, a blank page. So what we have to ensure is to make sure that on the options and the print layers, as visible and printed layers, you can also make sure that this uh, print blank pages is, uh, is also checked. And uh, in order for us to make sure that we still have our current settings in place, so we need to still click on set up and click on OK. We go to preferences um, and make sure that we select back the same settings we already have. This is the A5, take it to picture, yes. So we click OK and print. So, this is it. These are paper. These are printouts. Have you seen? Every part is full. Every part is full and complete here. Have you seen how beautifully it looks? Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.